Happy Sunday and welcome to my channel. This is Kelsey and today I am going to show you my Erin Condren planner along with uh, my planning for June and my weekly plan. So this is my Erin Condren planner. Um, it's about $55 but I think that the price is worth it. I use it for pretty much everything and it keeps me in track and organized. I do meal planning in here, bills, um, my teaching stuff, pretty much everything. So I will link below where you can find these awesome planners and I will show you what it looks like on the inside. I'm going to be planning in a moment this week, but I'm going to start off with the month of June. So what I usually do on this page is just mark down when bills are due. So. I'm going to start off, um, I paid rent today, but it's going to come out of our checking account on the 2nd. So I'm just going to say rent taken out. And then the next most important things are um, the other bills that are basically due when their due dates are. So one of them is my Amazon credit card is due on the first however it has a zero balance I'm just gonna put it on there I just like to keep track of when all of them are due regardless my second one is um, a freedom card and it is due on the third however it also has a zero balance to it I know I have to get around to canceling some of these I'm definitely gonna cancel this freedom one um, my Amazon one I'm still considering keeping because when I do purchase things on Amazon I get triple the points and um, I use Amazon a lot. My next one since my husband and I are joining accounts um, his car insurance is automatically withdrawn on the fourth of each month and we just set it up um, auto pay to our combined joint checking account and that is going to be $90.16 taken out. Next is my one credit card that does have a balance on it, American Eagle credit card, and that is due on the 14th of each month. On the 15th, I have my gym membership, so that's $19.99. My Verizon wireless phone bill is on the 18th, is due, and that is going to be $156.15 this year, or this month. Um, it's usually just like a couple bucks cheaper, but I did buy a couple songs for my phone to listen to while I walk the dog. The next bill is, um, PayPal is also due, sorry. PayPal is also due that day. Um, I use PayPal for some purchases, including my Netflix just goes on to there. Um, so that's $8.44 is due on the 18th. On the 21st, I have my Time Warner cable. That's just my internet is due. And that is $36.95. And then my husband, John, he's got also a credit card, um, an Amazon credit card. I'm just going to put J Amazon and his is due on the 21st. My student loans are due on the 22nd of every month. And right now that is just $119.38. Once I pay off my credit card, um, that amount that I'm normally spending on that, which has lately been about $850 or more, will be transferred over to my student loans. I'll be putting um, that towards that. Then I have a Slate credit card, also zero balance. I'm gonna put it on here. $27.50. And then lastly, my husband usually pays the energy bill, and we were trying to figure out exactly what the 
due date is. We just moved and we're moving again probably at the end of this month, but we think that it's going to be due at the last day of the month, but we will keep track of that, check our email and all. Um, and then I, did, I am going to add a couple notes because we're changing accounts and all that my husband needs to for his Amazon credit card that he needs to change where that is taken out of. So I'm just gonna say change account number and then same with the energy bill. I'm gonna say change account number. All right. So those are my general bills throughout the month. And then I'm going to add one more thing on here, which is our paychecks. So I am paid for one job. I'm paid on the 1st and the 15th. For my other job, I'm going to be paid on the 10th and the 24th. My husband is going to be paid on the 3rd and the 17th. And he is ending one job on the 5th and starting a new job on the 6th. We are just not sure right now uh, when he will be paid for that, so I will add that later. All right, that is the general look at the entire month. So now I'm going to plan for this week. I already have a few things on here. Uh, for Memorial Day, I do not have to work both my jobs. However, I do walk the dog. Her name is Lucy. Um, the lady who I walk her dog, uh, she gives me her schedule about a month in advance, so I just go ahead and put that in here right away. So I do have to walk her on Monday and Wednesday. I did already put our paychecks that I get paid on the 1st, and John gets paid on the 3rd. And then I have a couple of birthdays on Thursday as well. So what I'm going to add on here is when I work... So I'm just going to put SM, that's just the school that I work for, um, 7.15 until 3 p.m. And then the other school I work for, after school, I work that 3.15 to 6 p.m. But I'm off these two days, so I should have started that on Tuesday, but I'm just going to put it there. And then I'm going to change colors, but again, 7.15 to 3 p.m. And then 3.15 to 6 p.m. I have pretty long days. <laughs> I'd also like to add what we are having for dinner. So based on what was on sale this week, what we have in the cover, the pantry, the fridge and freezer, this is what I've come up with. So for Monday, we are going to grill out burgers. I'm going to make a steakhouse potato salad. And we got that big watermelon. For Tuesday, I am planning some sausage with uh, peppers and onions. And then I'm thinking some steamed carrots. For Wednesday, since I have to walk the dogs, I basically work from 7.15 until 7.30 at night. I want to come home and have an easy dinner. So, I have a recipe that takes about 15 minutes and it's a three pepper pasta with pepperoni. It's kind of a staple I make whenever I need something easy and delicious. For Thursday, I am going to make a broccoli cheese rice. And I'm going to make a note to make extra rice because we're going to have enchiladas this weekend and I want to make sure to have the rice ready for that. On Friday, my husband is closing 
I'm gonna actually put that up here. John closes, so I'm on my own for dinner, and I'm just going to have leftovers if we have them. If not, I have some um, quick meals in the pantry. On Saturday, like I said, we are having enchiladas. And on Sunday, I'm planning a cheesy bacon ranch pasta, which I pretty much make every weekend because it's that good. I will actually be putting up a video for you guys shortly on how to make that because it is that good. So that's the general stuff for the week. And then sometimes I'll put on the side other special notes um, or goals for the week. So one of my goals is going to be cleaning out two more containers. When we had to move because of the fire, we have a bunch of covered um, stuff from our old apartment that's just in random Rubbermaid containers that we still need to go through, especially because we're probably going to be moving back at the end of this month, so everything needs to be cleaned and organized for that move. So I'm going to say clean two containers. My husband and I this weekend did go to the bank and make sure to put his name on my accounts. Uh, so they are all set up. However, he needs to close his bank accounts and transfer over the money to our joint accounts. So I'm going to put that here. And that is pretty much it for now. I will add things throughout the week when I need to do things. So I just wanted to show you my Erin Condren planner and show you how I plan for the week. Please let me know if you have any questions about this or would like to see more. And as always, please subscribe if you like what you see and I will talk to you soon.